Hi guys. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I've been meaning to, but I just, I don't know. I got lazy, and I had to go to school, and go to work, and do everything else. So obviously I didn't make one, but I'm making one today. And I'm actually making, I think, three. But um, yeah, whatever. So if you see three videos where I'm wearing the same outfit that my cute metal militia hat on, um, that's why. I made time to do it. Sorry, making all kinds of noise. Um, I made time to do it now at 12:25. So I'm just doing it. Okay. Um, I have little notes here so I don't get too too off track. So if I look down, um, that's why. So first, this video is gonna be about my smiley piercing. Um, I got it done January 26th of this year, and I believe it was, um, I think four, anywhere from forty to sixty dollars. I don't really remember how much it was, but th I mean, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be different wherever you go. So, yeah. Um. I got it done at a place called Metamorphosis, which I'd never been there before, but um, it was the first place that I called that said they did smileys, so I just, I went there. Um, it was a really nice place, it was really clean, they had a lot of like options for jewelry, for everything, and they also had like a lot of um, regular earrings, and I thought that was kind of cool. But that's beside the point, that has nothing to do with my smiley. Um, the jewelry I got was an 18 gauge 5 sixteenths of an inch curved barbell. Um, now this doesn't have a screw on ball on it because she said um, it would be too hard to like if I ever changed it or like I had to tighten the ball it would be too hard um, to, to tighten a ball. So this one is like the push in end ones. Um, you can't tell, but here, I'll show you my smiley really quickly. There it is. Uh, yeah. Um. So that's that. Um, obviously, I chose a curved barbell, which is like the eyebrow ring, um, because I wanted to keep it hidden, the other ones come down to you, like the top of your teeth or maybe the middle, wherever. Um, and I wanted to keep it hidden because I didn't want work to know, I didn't want anybody at home to know, that sort of thing. Um, my fiance did go with me, so that was nice. Um, it's kind of like a requirement. When I get piercings, he has to go with me just to make sure that I'm okay and everything. I don't know, I think it's cute. I think it's sweet. But anyways, um, basically the process was, you know, I picked out the jewelry that I wanted and she, it was a woman who did it, and the lady explained to me, like, what was going to happen, um, sorry, there's some stuff on TV, um, she explained to me what was going to happen, um, I went back and, um, I held up my lip, like, like that. It was really awkward. So I held it up all the way so she could, um, she kind of like dried it off a little and then put mar like a mark on it. And, um, I'm sorry. I don't know where the remote is. This lady is like stepping on a cat. It's like an independent film, but it, it's disturbing to me. I don't want to watch it. Or even have it on in the background. Anyways, uh, so she dried it off a little, I believe. Well, she had me rinse my mouth out with mouthwash first, I'm sorry. She, and then she, like, marked it. And I said it looked good. So I laid down, like, I laid back on this, this table. And I held my lip up. And she counted down. And she just, she just did it. Um... It wasn't really that bad. I mean, 
there's not that much skin up there to begin with so you know it wasn't too bad I, I think it was like a pinch and, and that was kind of it I mean when she pierced it it was like a pinch and when um, she slid the jewelry through and like put the the ball on it was more like pinchy feeling but it wasn't bad I'd say maybe it was like a one or two out of ten so it wasn't bad at all um she explained to me that um I had to use mouthwash every time I ate or drank well anytime I had something that wasn't water so that goes for anything I ate as well um, I had to rinse with mouth non-alcoholic mouthwash after everything that wasn't water and um, she also gave me a little pouch of um, or a little bag of sea salt so I could do um, sea salt soaks if I wanted to I didn't I didn't um, rinse my mouth with sea salt I just used mouthwash but um, I know sea salt is good for healing so yeah um Healing time is six weeks, according to this place. Um, and I'm, I'm way past the six week mark, but I still haven't changed it out because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I'm afraid that it's gonna weigh the hole down and it'll like, pull out. Um, because I guess this mind piercing is kind of notorious for pulling out because it is such a, a, a small piece of skin that you know it doesn't last forever it eventually like slides down migrates down more and more and then you just have to take it out but um i'm hoping if i keep this curved barbell in that's not going to happen as fast so maybe eventually i'll get uh a circular barbell so you can see like the balls but for now i'm not going to um now, for me, the smiley, getting my smiley pierced didn't hurt that bad because right after my fiance and I went and had a steak dinner and I ate fine, I mean, it was a little awkward because I had this weird metal thing in my mouth and I mean, it was kind of sore. So it was, I don't know, I had to eat a little slower and make sure that like I cut my steak in smaller pieces than I normally would but I mean I really didn't have any trouble eating it didn't cause me any real problems in that regard um what else my top lip did swell a tiny tiny bit but it wasn't that much I mean it wasn't really noticeable um, especially not to anybody else. I mean, I noticed it if I looked in the mirror really hard at my face. Um, like I did because I was paranoid that it was going to swell like super big for whatever reason. Um, unless you look really hard, you can't really tell that it's swollen. And it wasn't swollen that long. Um, I will say though, I had to go to work. Uh, I think the day after I got it done, or like one or two days after I got it done. And I had smiled a lot because I worked, I worked fast food, so I worked drive through, and I had to smile a lot, and that it made it really sore. But I kept um, like holding ice water up there, like that. Um, I watched another video of a girl who said that when she was at work, she took like ice water or cold water and held it in her upper lip to kind of soothe it and make it feel better so I did that um, and that helped a lot um, so maybe for about a week it was kind of painful to laugh or smile like I could laugh a little bit but if it was like the all-out kind of laugh or I don't know it's more like this or if I smile really big like this then it would hurt it would be sore but I could just be like mm, like that that didn't hurt too bad but when I would laugh or um, smile really big, it was sore. But uh, other than that, it was fine. I mean, it was super easy to take care of. It healed in no time. I mean, six weeks. 
I don't know, it felt like no time. Um, and I did pretty much rinse with um, mouthwash after everything I ate or drank that wasn't water for at least the first couple weeks. Um, I did kind of fall off after that, but it's fine. It didn't get infected or anything. Um, but I do definitely recommend listening to whatever your producer tells you because they're the professional, not me. So, um, yeah, you definitely need to listen to them. Um, what else do I want to say? <sighs> um, just because it didn't hurt bad for me doesn't mean it won't hurt bad for you. It depends on um, your tolerance for pain. And, um, I will say, though, with this piercing, it's not something that everybody can get, like their ears, because, um, like, my webbing is pretty big, but my fiancé doesn't have hardly any at all up there. So, um, don't, don't be disappointed or really upset if you go in wanting it and they tell you, like, your web, your little... I think it's called a frenulum isn't big enough to get it done some people are just made to have it and others aren't there's nothing that they can really do um, if there's not enough to pierce through um, something I also really want to um, stress is there are a lot of people on here that talk about um, piercing their smiley themselves or they let a friend do it I do not recommend that at all because I mean they're not professionals I highly doubt any of them well I highly doubt most of them are professionals and they just order these piercing kits online and do them and I, I don't know I just I would not feel comfortable letting someone order a piercing get online and then pierce me or I would not ever consider ordering a piercing kit online to pierce myself I would much rather pay the the 60 the 40 to 60 dollars and get it done right by a professional who knows what they're doing so I have someone to go back to if anything ever goes wrong or if I have any questions or anything like that. I would much rather pay and have it done right the first time around than do it myself and risk getting an infection or piercing it wrong or whatever. So that's my little rant about piercing your smiley yourself. Um, and according to my notes, that's all I have. So I guess I will move on because I've talked your ear off or 13 minutes and 11 seconds already so I will see you in the next video. Bye!